everybody, Troy with Champion Plumbing out of Egan, Minnesota. This is our very first exciting episode of Cole's Corner where we're gonna, you're gonna be able to pick the brain of a plumber without having to pay the service fee. All right, hi everyone, I'm Cole. Welcome to Cole's Corner, episode one. Uh, today we're gonna talk about garbage disposal. The one we have here is a Wolverine brass called the Beast, half horsepower. They make a smaller size horsepower, they make a bigger one. This is kind of the the middle one that's going to work for pretty much any home. This one right here, if we install it, backs it up with a three-year warranty on product and also on labor. Any issues in that three years, we'll come and take care of you. If we need to replace a certain part, most likely we'll probably just take it out, throw a new one in, and then we can warranty it. It does come with a new basket strainer for your sink. If you have a duplex sink, it would go on the left or the right. Sometimes one side or the other might actually work better because of your drain pipe coming in from the wall but we can adjust that if we have to. With the new stopper, actually has like a spatula built into it where you can actually scrape your food into the strainer here. I think this is the only one that actually I've seen that does have it. Also not just a plastic cap, it's a nice brush nickel finish on the top. Yes, also you can use this to push your food down into the disposal because please don't put your fingers down there. That would not be good. So Tanner, if this locks up or hums, what do we do? Do we call a plumber right away or is there some little tips you can tell us? If it is humming and it's not spinning, that means it's locked up. I'm using this Allen wrench and it goes right in the middle, bottom. It just sticks in the bottom there, you can turn it manually. Do all disposals have an Allen wrench to manually turn it? Not all of them. Ours do. Some of them you have to stick a foreign object, a piece of wood, in the top try to move it from there but luckily ours is a lot easier where you can do it this way if you ever hit the switch and there's no noise at all there's a reset button right there um, press that and uh, it should fire back out that's an important tip like you don't need to call the plumber if you flip the switch and nothing happens check those things that Tanner was just talking about check the reset button uh, check to see if it's jammed it could save you some money And then obviously with the disposal, the main thing you don't want to put down it is grease. Not only for your disposal, but for your drain. You're going to end up having to call a sewer company out and unclog that drain. Celery, anything kind of stringy, you don't really want to put down this. It ends up binding up down below like a, a spool of fish line. And then it's not going to work properly. Eggshells. They end up sticking at the bottom, I've noticed, and people can't get them out, and they start to get kind of a smell in your disposal. Basically, like orange peels, the citrus, you can put them in here and grind them up, and that will actually deodorize it, make it smell better. What about drain cleaner? Should they put drain cleaner down their disposal? I haven't really seen much research on the drain cleaner. I wouldn't. Half a cup of baking soda with cold water running down it, that will help. But drain cleaner, if you're going to do that on your house and you only have a single bowl sink, I would probably hire your sewer company out to take a look at if it needs to be drain cleaned or if they want to put any additive in it, they can put it down the lines and not down the disposal. Uh, one other thing you should put down it too is uncooked pasta because once it's in here, the water will make it expand and therefore it's going to your noodle's going to be three times as big and you're going to get a clog in there. Uh, Tanner, so I see there's an outlet here that you plug into the wall. I've been to houses where they're hardwired in. Do we have to call an electrician or what, what would we do? Do you have a different style? We do not have a different style. You can just pull this cord out and then that gives you access to the wires behind it and we can put the hard wire, wires in the house to directly to it. So just because ours has a cord, they don't necessarily need to have a cord for ours to work in their home. Correct. I've been asked before, do you fill it full and then turn it on, or turn it on and dump food in? It is a very good idea to turn it on with water running and dump food down it, not jam it full. And, and turn it on. what temperature water? Cool water or hot water? Cool water. One other feature too we didn't go over for dishwasher. There is a port for it. If you don't have a dishwasher, that's fine. It comes with a factory plug. If you have a dishwasher, we can take the plug out and hook it up to it. So your dishwasher will actually drain into here and then through the rest of the drain of the house. So if any more food particles come off your dishwasher, 
this can grind them up. So if you have the need for a new garbage disposal or any plumbing needs, go ahead, give us a call, 651-362-2622. Look us up on the web, championplumbing.net. Subscribe to YouTube. We're going to be doing a lot more videos at Cole's Corner. Also, you can always message us if you have questions about something and we can make an episode of that so everyone else knows about it. If you have questions or you have other video ideas, please feel free to put a comment in there and we'll address it with one of our upcoming videos.